Greetings. Thanks for tuning in. Angelo Tremonti, Serafino. Here we are going to present you some balsamic vinegar of Modena. This is the collection, the passion, the production of the De Petri family found in Casinalbo, Modena. We have their classic and their vintages, which we're going to walk you through so that you know exactly what you're going to be getting into. Balsamic vinegar, composed of two ingredients and two ingredients only, wine vinegar and grape must. Often we get the question, what is grape must? Grape must is basically fresh grape juice. It's just broken skins and you got the juice unfiltered raw from grapes. So the classics, Il Verde, Il Blu, and Il Bordeaux. Il Verde, here we have the more on the sour tart side. It has some uh, notes of oak, because all these vinegars are aged in oak, and some other wood types as well, which we'll get into. So this here is something you can use simply on a salad or in a marinade, uh, as well as just throwing a splash into a stir fry. Ultimately, all these balsamic vinegars can be used exactly the same way, uh, or you can, you know, your personal preference, or just uh, according to what it is that you're pairing it up with. So Il Blu, fairly close to the Il Verde. It's got a higher percentage of grape must in it and a little more age as well. So it's got that almost perfect balance between sweet and sour with more like prominent blueberry notes and some grape punchiness to it. It, uh, it pairs well with, you know, garden salads, you know, splash uh, in a, a roasted veggies, uh, as well as just marinating some meats because it's going to add a lot of flavor to it. Then you have the Il Bordeaux, and this is around, uh, well, just over the three-year mark for, for aging. It's the vinegar that we're actually allowed to use the word aged on, although all vinegars are aged, but once it's reached that three-year mark, then the word aged can be found on the balsamic vinegar. So this, uh, this is also aged in chestnut as well as oak, and it's around 50% grape must, 50% wine vinegar which gives it a deeper and richer and slightly more complex flavor. You have a, a slight smokiness to it, as well as uh, raisin. Uh, and that can be poured directly onto some finished fish. Uh, of course, like a strawberry, spinach, walnut salad, um, and any other applications that you might want to use balsamic vinegar in. Then we have the vintage category. Now these ultimately are all the same in terms of their uh, blend between the wine vinegar and grape must. Uh, they have the same ratio, but they're aged uh, uh, more, the aged increases as we move to the right here. So Sigillo Verde has got like apple, vanilla, pear undertones to it. In the vintages, you get a lot more smoothness going on, and you have the perception of, of the acidity uh, decreases as we go along. Although, with all balsamic vinegars, in order for them to be even classified as a true balsamic vinegar, they're all 6% acidity. So that means the Il Verde is 6%, as well as the Platino 6%, but they taste completely different. The sharpness, which is perceived by the palate, is not an indication of the actual acidity. Next, we go into the Sigillo Bordeaux. Of course, with a little more aging than the Sigillo Verde, you get into more punchy berry um, <clears throat> notes, and as well as the sweetness of uh, slightly floral, and uh, you get also a, a deeper, slightly sweeter, and a little more uh, viscosity or a little more dense. 
It uh, pairs well with berry salads, uh, as well as putting on grilled meats. And just what we like about these uh, labels here is that we have uh, serving suggestions or way to cook the or use the, this balsamic vinegar. So this here, they're uh, suggesting scallops, uh, cheese with potatoes, and a wild salad. Then we get into the sigillo oro. Now that is one of the vinegars that has been with us from the very beginning, both the Il Bordeaux and the Sigillo Oro. Uh, when they joined our family back almost 18 years ago, uh, they were the first two vinegars we started off with. There's actually a lovely lady that I had met who was bringing La Bonissima from Italy on, on her, her trips there, and she's like, you need to get this stuff in. And of course, the perfect accompaniment to olive oil is vinegar, because people are dipping bread with it, of course, but everything in most things in the Italian uh, cuisine, you're blending oils and vinegars to use as dressings or marinades. So the Sigillo Oro has this really deep, rich, sweet, complex flavor. You got uh, prune, molasses, chocolate, dark cherry, it's, it's honestly the flavor, it hits your palate, it's explosive, it just sends your senses into a frenzy and just wakes everything up. It goes well with many different types of fruit, whether you're putting it onto pears, berries, uh, ice cream, uh, as well as steak, lamb, um, and many other things as well, including omelets. Balsamic vinegar, in Modena is used on everything. It's, it's incredible, all the applications that they can use it with. Uh, also risotto is a very common uh, condiment for with uh, balsamic vinegar. So I just wanted to point out on the label here that uh, you have the place of origin, of course, where it's actually coming from, where it's made. Of course, it's from Italy in Casinabo, Modena. IGP, which is a protected uh, product coming, meaning it's coming from this area and it can only come from this area, uh, which are the provinces of Modena and Reggio Emilia. We also have, uh, which is pretty cool, some braille on the back of the label for the visually impaired. And of course it comes in a nice box. This is one of my all time favorite balsamic vinegars. Uh, more for the, the vintage category. And I have to note that those glazes, those reductions that you find out on the market, uh, or those creams, they're basically an imitation of what a true vintage balsamic would be. So again, there's no sugars, and there's no thickening agents or emulsifiers that are added, whereas in your uh, creams or, or reductions or either boiled vinegar, there's sugars, there's thickening agents. They're basically just a sweet vinegar flavor where these are, of course there's vinegar and sometimes they're not even as sweet as what you're buying as a reduction. And of course the price difference is usually enormous, but the flavor profile is so intriguing. It's like rich, it's, it's sweet. It's got like multiple layers of flavor that you'll never find in a reduction or a glaze. And even for those who take an ordinary balsamic vinegar and put it in the pan and cook it or reduce it, like that's not how a properly aged balsamic works. It, it basically, if there was anything good in that vinegar, it's just gonna destroy the, the health benefits as well as the flavor profile. And you end up just having you know, a sort of a dead sweet vinegar where this actually has medicinal benefits to it. Then we move along to the Sigillo Platino, which in most cases, uh, uh, some people find, well, prefer the Sigillo Oro. I mean, if you knew the, the price differences, you would automatically gravitate to the Platino because it's like, oh, it's more expensive, so that means it's better, which of course, to certain palates it is. I almost find it too complex for my palate but it's got a, a much thicker and 
slightly sweeter. It's almost just as sweet as the Sigilla Oro, but it's it's almost has this undertone of like mineral, metallic-y sort of feel to it, but it's just another layer of flavor that comes with the Platino. Uh, so it is slightly sweeter, but it's got way more flavors to it. And that can be used exactly the same way as the Sigilla Oro, whether it's on bruschetta, tiger prawns, you got, um, you know, meat, strawberries, and ice cream. So there you have the vintages and the classic balsamic vinegar from the De Petri family, who we owe a lot of our balsamic vinegar knowledge to. I've been there several times and you have to make it there yourself one day if you're ever traveling to Italy, balsamic vinegar and an acetaya, which is the vinegar house, is a place to actually visit just like you would probably want to visit a winery. There's, there's a lot of magic that happens with balsamic vinegar. It goes back hundreds and hundreds of years of tradition and balsamic vinegar was just prized and it was you know only held in the attics of noble families and the whole aging process is extremely wonderful in these attics and the transferring of barrels. It's, it's so complex and it adds so much culinary delight. So thanks for watching and we'll check you out next time.